G'day folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a very short video, two and a half minutes-ish, on flathead fishing at Sandstone Point. Now there are a million different approaches to go Sandstone Point and go flathead fishing. Today is just going to be one approach, a few different lures, and a couple of different hooks. That's what I'm going to show you. Remember, if you get anything out of this video, make sure you give me the big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and if you want to support the channel, in the description below you'll find a Patreon link, just follow the bouncing ball. Firstly, before I get into the video, if you stick around to the end of the video, the last part of the video is a bit of video footage of me actually doing what we're about to talk about. So have a look at the footage at the end. Right now we'll get into it, we'll start with the hooks. Uh, the hook sizes I use are 1020 and 30, and I try and find a fine hook if I can, and I like the TT that locks the, the lure in, the lure slips over that little piece there and locks in so you don't get the slippage when you're giving a good reef up and you'll see the hop in the video uh, toward the end when you give it a good reef up you get more chance of keeping the lure in place so they're the hooks the lures i like colors i like are motor oil and pearl now they're the two styles i like the slim swims and the grubs the sizes i use i use a two and a half three and a half most of the time, so two and a half when I want to just get a feed and make sure I catch something, you'll catch everything with two and a half inch uh, Z-Man. When I want to go to a bigger fish or want to target a bigger fish, I'll go to three and a half and four inch, and they're the two colors I like. Now the two styles, grubs and slim swims. The approach in this video you'll see in the video is the hop hop approach. There are a couple of different approaches, hop hop and twitch twitch. Both work. I prefer the hop hop, but and you'll see in a lot of the videos that I did, especially when I was fishing with the young fella Jordan, he pretty much used Twitch Twitch all the time, and he quite often outfished me. Before we get into the video, I'll quickly show you the Z-Man bag. You can see here, I don't just fish with those two colours. I do have a massive variety of all the different colours you can imagine, and I will go through those colours on a hard day, but are always my go-to lures, my, my go-to colours and styles are the Grub in a Pearl and a um, Motor Oil, and as I said, the Slim Swim in the Pearl and Motor Oil. A quick minute on Sandstone Point. Sandstone Point work works absolutely sensationally in the cooler months of the year. So from about mid-spring right through to the end of autumn, you'll find flathead around Sandstone Point in the shallows. It's best to fish Sandstone Point in between 800 and 1.2 metres. So I like the run out tide and pretty much anywhere. It's all really good ground at Sandstone Point from Cook's Rocks right across to the point. Well, that's it. Uh, I hope you got something out of this video. Stick around for the, uh, the old, older footage that I've got coming up. You'll see the hop hop there and I'll, I'll talk you through it in the video. Make sure if you've got anything out of this video, to give me that big thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care. So it's two hops. I do pretty much two hops every, every lift. So throw out. I'll make sure all the slack's taken up. So because we're drifting over the bait, I just keep winding and it's most likely staying, if not really still, and dead still on the bottom. And then when I know for sure it's on the bottom, I go hop, hop, and that's it. And let it get back to the bottom. Yes! Swim to the boat. Yeah, yeah, spot lock it. Need the net. This is a good fish, this one. It's a bar tail, I think. Yes. Well, that's where you want to pin them, right in the top there. So the, you can see the plastic pops up from the water, the hook's on top of the plastic. Fish takes the thing whole and you strike, if you're striking at the right time, you should always have them through the top there, where this one is. So that's what we're using. Ooh. Little three and a half inch. Paddle tail Z-Man in the pearly white. 
Yes! Oh! Nah, dropped it! Oh, it's back! <laughs> Must have been swimming toward me. Yeah, get a little nap. Oh, it's legal. Actually, it's quite a good fish. This is a go close to 50, this one. Beautiful. Sandstone Point is, I normally go from Scarborough to Sandstone Point because I fish this area in my boat most of the time. You can fish land-based and there is a car park there at Sandstone Point where you can wade out, but you will need to wade, so buy yourself some good waders and um, you'll wade waist deep for what seems like an eternity. You can walk out forever there. So two, three, four hundred meters out and you'll still be waist deep of water, uh, generally speaking. I fish sandstone point for brim. I, at high tide I fish on the rocks, uh, throw on the top of the rocks with my soft plastics and you will find that you'll get a good feed of brim there. But on the run out tide is a very, very good place in the summertime for flathead. It's one of my favourite flathead spots over at Bribie.